I'm not a pastor who you will hear say, public school, private school, home school, whatever the Lord leads you to do. I do not believe that those are morally equal options. The Attorney General of Texas said that he didn't believe parents were qualified to raise their kids, much less teach them at home. What's the problem? Two problems. One, we have the what without the why. That's one problem. We have the what without the why. What are we going to do? We're going to homeschool. Why? I would encourage you to prayerfully consider this as you think about homeschooling, uh, because I really believe that, it, that the Lord has to, has to be in it. We do this because we want to advance the kingdom of God. This is really important. This is huge, because we miss this in the homeschool movement. And this is one of the reasons that our kids oftentimes want to leave the homeschool movement. So the reality is CPS cannot come into your home unless they have a court order without your permission. You don't win or lose a marathon in the first hundred yards. It's really a long-term investment. And homeschooling is the same way. In marathon running, there's this, this theory now that if you take walk breaks, it really allows you to complete the marathon with less injuries and with better time. Do not be conformed to this world. By the way, what can you think of a more conforming exercise than education? From kindergarten through 12th grade, a child spends 14,000 seat hours. Please don't call the public school district and ask them what you need to do about homeschooling. That's kind of like calling the IRS and asking them to give you help on filling out your tax returns. Develop endurance and perseverance. Now this is something I would really encourage you to do a word study on. Um, you will be surprised at how many times faith and endurance are linked together in Scripture. And they are calling to say, where do I go to register to homeschool, or where do I turn my grades in, or those sorts of things. And we love to get those calls, because we say, ma'am, welcome to Texas, where people are free. I want this city. I don't want to run from this city. I don't want to hide from this city. I don't want my children to run from this city or hide from this city. I want my children to pour out their life for this city because God brought us to this city. I educate my children at home not because I'm scared of this city, but because if my city knew what I was doing, it ought to be scared of my kids. The issue for us in Texas today is not are we free. You know, my, I have homeschool friends, uh, leaders in New York and Pennsylvania, and they would give their eyes to have the kind of laws that we have in Texas. The issue for us is can we keep that freedom?